Hey, hi, hi guys. Uh, this is Colin from Singapore, and uh, this is day eight of my video challenge. All right. Now, today's topic is quite interesting. It is using the value of ancient wisdom uh, to grow your business. Now, uh, our teachings come from King Solomon's book of Proverbs, where King Solomon was like a father teaching his people and children to be good and wise. Okay, he advises on what to do. Okay and what not to do. Basically, the ethics of life. Uh, it also provides the knowledge on how to be successful and why and how you should help people. Okay. Um, yes, we all heard, okay, uh, what the saying that uh, knowledge is power, okay. But, and, and this is being brought to you by gurus, life coaches, and motivational speakers. But knowledge alone is not power. It's like a car without gas or the batteries have run out, you know. It is putting that knowledge into practice to reach a desired end. That is the power, okay. And this is what we are trying to show you here. Okay, uh, many of us fail in life because we did not put into practice, okay, or procrastinate to put it into practice. It's a common human, human behavior. Now, our, our, our product seldom gets mentioned, okay. Everyone is concerned about how much money they can make and how much money you can make, alright. And it's often used as an enticement to join this business and that's a fact of life. Now, our business management comes from these ancient wisdom teachings as well. Okay, I will give you some examples but not mention the verses, uh, common subjects that are discussed in the hangouts and in ILN are uh, things like vision, action, consistency and fear. Alright, these are some of them. Now in vision, every management book you pick up Okay, we'll have a section on vision. Vision is important because it is a driver that will bring you from point A to point B, right? Okay, um, the, original, the origin of vision also came from ancient wisdom. It talks about two men, you know, looking over a piece of land. And one had vision and one did not have, okay? And the moral of the story was that the success went to the man with the vision, right? Uh, let's talk about action. Everybody talks about action. Must take action, you know, take action on this, take action on that, you know. So, how you say? If you did not have any action, there will not be any success, okay. If you sit down and do nothing, you get nothing. Okay, but Solomon talks about the man who is speedy, okay, and he will serve among the kings, alright. Meaning that those people who took action, okay, who acted fast, okay, will be the ones, okay, to be mixing around with people who have social influence. Again, it's all about being successful, right? Consistency, huh, that's the buzzword in ILN at this moment. Everybody talks, must be consistency, must have consistency, blah, 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 okay? Okay, now, in the ancient wisdom teachings, it says, be diligent, okay, and you will get your success. If you are lazy, the result will be that you will be poor. Correct? Now, it also says in another verse, do not sleep. If you do, you will not have food to eat. Does that make sense? Okay. That means if you are lazy, you will not get food to eat because you will not have money to buy the food to eat. Okay? So, okay. Now, we are not McDonald's, okay, where service product uh Everything is the same. Like every uh, service has to be 60 seconds. The product, every hamburger has to look like every hamburger, you know. And uh, and it's the same all the time, which is consistent, okay. But in our case, it is not the same. It, it is not. It is not that, okay. What it means is to be consistent is to make sure you do not be a slacker, okay, and uh, or a lamer. Okay, do your daily routine. Okay, do your graph search, do your do your blogs, do your videos, okay? Uh, build your confidence and relationships with people. 
Okay, this is what it's talking about. Now, fear. It talks about killing of lions and bears in our, in our teachings, okay? Uh, which is actually the f which is actually your fears and your problems. The lions and the bears are your fears and your problems. Now, you must overcome your fears, okay? Get out of your comfort zone. The fear of looking back in making videos, the fear of approaching people uh, and, and inviting them to join your network, okay? Join your business. Okay? If you cannot overcome this fear, you are roadkill. You are finished, okay? So put that in your mind. And then, also, it's about your problems, okay? Not having enough money, uh, not having enough uh, quality of life with your family, and all that. Not having a better lifestyle, right? You have to overcome all this. Now, uh, do you see what I mean? Okay, we have a good product to provide the people, okay? And we also have a good value. Now, and the secret is to develop your mindset, okay, mind and set, okay, which is the way you think, okay, you got to change it from a negative to a positive to help yourself grow, okay, and achieve and grow your business, okay, and by, by, promote, by promote, uh, promoting the product coupled with a proven structured network system, you can uh, achieve your reward. Okay, finally, uh, your goal is actually not the to be successful alone. Okay, your success will come from helping people become successful. Okay, and your success will take care of itself. Okay, so uh, click the link below. Okay, if you want to join our lifestyle community and uh, and network, okay, we will be most happy to have you in our team. Peace.